Right, um, what I'm doing here is I've actually made two more barrel penetrators because I need one for the um, aft main ballast tank vent control, which is going to go about there in the end cap. And I also need to, uh, well, another one is also going to be for the, I think I'm going to put it in for a rudder. Now, I haven't actually decided if I'm going to have a rudder or not yet, but I, I might do because it's be quite useful, I think, particularly when towing. Um, and also I need to put in the, uh, I also need to put in the inlet for the uh, um, flood valve, which is going to go here at the back. So I need to just open that up a bit more and then weld this in. This is one I had left over from Jody B. This is extra, extra hard. Um, can't remember the grade, but it's um, whatever was specified on the, uh, on the K350 drawings. I just need to double check that that is a two inch BSP tapered thread, which I'm pretty sure it is. So that'll then fit a two inch ball valve on the inside. And what I'm actually going to do with this, I think, is I'm going to sleeve this with a stainless steel sleeve, weld it, weld it there, and then that means it'll be easier to weld it on the outside, but then it'll be corrosion resistant on the inside. Also, I need, I'm going to cut the kind of like uh, scoops out of this so that I can just finish the welding off on, on the, the tower. Haven't got anywhere with finding anywhere in the south of England that, that can do this uh, facing job for me. I'm sure there is somewhere, but I haven't found them. So I don't know whether I'm just going to send it, send it off to the West Midlands, to the place that did, did this. Um, either that or just drive up there, it'll be about three hours. Not that bad a drive, but it might, it's, it's quite expensive on the boat. So it might just, it might be cheaper for me to just send it. I'm also just going to put a bit of degreaser on this end cap because it's really greasy from the uh, lubricant that I, they use, I assume, when spinning it. And I'll put my respirator on because this stuff stinks and I hate it. It makes me feel ill. way that I uh, can test if this is the right size is on uh, Jody B because it's the only two inch valve I've got and I can see straight away that I must be slightly stupid. Is that too is the what are these sizes? So what is this anyway? This is a uh, one point nine. What is what the hell is it? It's probably nominal bore. One inch maybe, is that what it is? I mean it's this is <sighs> Right now I'm not gonna be too Stingy with this, I'm gonna go something like that, maybe. Just cut that out. Hopefully that'll be enough for me to get round to there, and then I'm gonna put it back in. That's the it's the brace, so I'm gonna make sure that this tower is still braced as much as possible. Paul, I'd like to leave that on before you know for until I actually get this at least tacked in place. I think we'll have an outside view.
about it, I think. <clears throat> Biggest problem is you can't see. I'll see what I'm cutting, but I had to guess it a bit. Anyway, right, let's get it back inside. Should be able to get around there, okay. Let's get this cleaned up. <clears throat> right, now, this is... Uh... Shut up! It's taken an awful long time to make this tower, so I am not going to mess this up at the final hurdle. So, I need to weld along there. Um, now, this probably won't move, but probably isn't good enough. I'm going to make a, a kind of an, an external brace um, just to give it a bit of stiffening on the outside to hold this shape because when I weld in here it'll it'll pull it and this this might just sort of pull in a bit and pull out of shape. I, I don't think it will because it's it's welded on the other side you know so it's already pretty well held but in fact it's welded all the way through actually but it's just this bit it, it just it just might. Anyway, so I'm going to make out of this piece of angle a thing. <clears throat> Admittedly, that's not the neatest thing in the world, but it'll have to do. Um, I'm going to have to, uh, it's, it's warped a bit with the welding, pull it in a bit, which I really should have realised. But I'm just going to draw around the, the arc now and just grind the rest out. There's only a tickle. Quite a lot, actually. So, never mind. What I'm going to do is uh, grind it round. I think. Quite a bit to come off. Might plasma cut that off actually, maybe. I'll have to carry on with that next week. The whole point of this is that I just can't risk that, that bit distorting. You can see how stuff distorts um, when you're not paying attention. I don't want to go and mess this up at the last hurdle. Trusty stool. So that, that really isn't bad now. Um, I, I just needs a little bit more of a tickle with the grinder, but I, I really have got to go. Honestly, got to go. Okay, so um, the hatch I'm hoping will be here soon. So I'm starting to think about the hatch mechanism, how I'm going to latch it shut now on Jody B. Uh, as with all K350s or the standard design, the, you can't open the hatch from the outside. It's a really simple design, actually works really well, but the lack of being able to, to open it from the outside has always been a bit of a problem. So I thought of a few different methods. Um, 
one of them is this this idea that I've thought of where we've got um, sort of a uh, there's just a what is that like a, that's like a plate welded to the inside dish there's like a strike plate here and then a, a sort of a um, I don't know what you call that like a latching rotating thing um, oh, there we go you can see how uh, how the idea is that that works is that, that as you as you turn it um it, it it would lock the pieces in the right place I think that would work and it has to open enough for it to clear obviously but then i've been kind of thinking of something else i think that's a bit convoluted to be honest so i've come up with a different idea which um i think is actually better and this was based on the gamma hatch, I think. One of the pictures that I've got of a hatch, pretty sure it's gamma. So um, there's just a round ring like that with a penetrator through, this the same as all the other 16 mil ones. Um, you can see the arms. Now these are uh, ball joints. So that's a standard ball joint that you can buy from somewhere. They sent me the uh, CAD drawing, which I just downloaded it off their website actually. Um, and you can see here this sort of similar principle, but there's a, a bracket thing here. Now this isn't shown correctly here. What it actually would be, would be kind of like that, where the uh, the arm passes just through a just through a stationary bracket just to lock it in place. But I couldn't figure out any way of um, restraining the model for it to actually work. So I've had to put a ball joint there and a slider on that instead somebody did i even uh, asked on the autodesk forums but somebody said using a, a pin and slot but the trouble with the pin and slot is that it is moving very very slightly in the z direction and that then the pin slot doesn't work so um the only way i've been able to do it is to put another ball joint in there and a slider so like i said that the this is these four are not how it would be in reality the reality is it would just be a sliding um just just a stationary bracket and the the thing would just slide and just be in physical contact with that with the bracket so as it as it comes around like that it was just it just jams it under this um striker plate there and i think this is a really super simple idea